Hello everyone. Well, YouTube obviously doesn't like my new book. <laughs> Something went badly wrong there. Um, uh, amazingly, the sound was okay, um, but uh, not quite sure what happened there. The YouTube encoder just froze. Um, annoyingly, we did a test on this yesterday and everything worked fine. Uh, so we'll just wait a couple of moments for a few folks to uh, join us, but uh, apologies for that, and uh, we will start again. Um, we're, I'm just going to go back to the, the microphone that I normally use, and then uh, once we've uh, played the first song, I will come back to you. And uh, uh, yeah, but anyway, but here we go with the first song in my new theatre organ book. Hope you enjoy it. things going on and of course the first thing that happened was the uh, YouTube encoder broke but I'm actually going to bring the camera up for once and let you see me. Hey everybody welcome to YouTube and I uh, hope you like the decorations, put these up especially for you and um, tonight it's my great pleasure to have you all here and I just want to think we've got a few folks now joining us so you haven't missed much just the first song of the book but we'll play it again a little bit at the end to finish off with but welcome everyone if you don't know me my name's Tom Horton I'm a professional musician I'm an organist keyboard player um, pianist I teach do lots of things and if I work uh, in the organ world I also get to play these wonderful theatre pipe organs and as a composer I've always wanted to write a book about theatre organ music because a lot of people don't know this, but back in the 1920s and 30s, there was little to nothing written for these mighty theatre pipe organs. So I thought, hey, it's um, you know about a hundred years since these organs first started to appear in movie theatres in America, cinemas in the UK, Wurlitzers, Comptons, Bartons, Christies, Mollers, um, Standarts, whatever you want to call them, and. Um, I thought, wouldn't it be great to leave something for future organists? And so, it's my immense pleasure to launch to you tonight my new book, Theatre Organ Originals, Volume 1. Now, this contains five brand new pieces of music, and it's spread over 40 pages. Um, all these pieces are new, they're written with the theatre organ in mind, and I'm absolutely thrilled 
to have completed this publication over about the last eight months. So it's been kind of a, a, a lockdown project. So what's Theatre Organ Originals about? Well, it's a chance for, for me to bring some new and exciting music, I think, to these mighty theatre pipe organs. A little bit about the book before we start. It's professionally printed. I've had this done at a local print company, so nice to support a local business. And as you can see, the book is ring-bound, so that means it will lay nice and flat. The score is printed nice and large, so I've thought in mind of the general great distance of theatre organ music desks, and perhaps, shall we say, the more mature hobby theatre organist in mind. So you'll find that the print is really nice and easy to read. We've also worked very hard on laying the music out carefully to minimise page turns. In addition to the book, what you also get with every copy, completely free of charge, is a set of performance notes and registrations. Okay, so these cover the entire five songs in the book, and there's all registrations down here and uh, performance notes, so those are included with the book. Now, what styles of music have we gone for? Well, you're going to hear some of these in a short while. I'm not going to play you all the music of each piece, but I'm going to play you a little snippet. So the five pieces are called Console Up, and that was the first one we started with there. It's that kind of Broadway opening number, brings the console up, lots of noise. We've also got four other tunes. We've got Happy Go Lucky, The Forgotten Cinema, Jelly Mould Rag, I'll explain that, and Tibia Tango. Okay, so those are the five songs. Console Up, Happy Go Lucky, The Forgotten Cinema, Jelly Mould Rag, and Tibia Tango. Throughout the book, you also get all the instructions that you'll need. So every so often you'll get a registration number. That links to the information on the sheet. Now, although this is kind of my official worldwide launch of this new book, this is volume one, um, there's already been quite a lot of copies gone out. We've got folks watching who have probably already got theirs, but here in the UK, Scotland, uh, lots have already gone to America, a few are going to Australia. So if you're interested in the book and fancy getting yourself something completely unique, I think, um, this is a, it's over 40 pages of music. It's really, I'm really proud of it. This is really lovely. And uh, the local print company, Leyston Press, who li I live near, they've done a fantastic job uh, printing it for me. So I'd like to play you now a little selection of each piece, so we're not going to do too much more talking, but we'll just go through the book and play a little bit about them all. But if you're interested in the book, folks, and like to get a copy, simply head to my website, tomhorton.co.uk, and you can order the book on there from tonight. Um, you'll be able to um, get it, I can send it anywhere in the world, um, so we'll say that we can send it to America, Australia, Germany, wherever, just head to the website, um, and there's two options, one for UK customers, so if you live in the UK, I click on that. If you're uh, Europe, USA or elsewhere in the world, um, please do do that. Love it to have the lovely comments on the uh, on the chat. I'll say hello to you all in a little bit later on. But in the meantime, let's uh, put the camera back down to the mighty theatre organ. The virtual theatre organ. There we go. Looks pretty good. And do enjoy, folks, uh, some music composed by yours truly. And uh, I'm a bit nervous about this. I hope you like it. And uh, we'll look forward to uh, hearing your comments as we go along. But let's now carry on with The Forgotten Cinema.
must explain that piece. Um, not so long ago, I heard a um, saw some pictures of a cinema on the internet, and it was all closed down, all derelict, and all the original fittings were there. Um, so all the um, um, all the you know the seats, um, but it was really quite quite sad all the pictures that it was dusty it was gloomy it was all forgotten and in the middle of it was this cinema organ in quite a sorry state so that sort of piece represents a you know a very sad cinema forgotten everything's still in it so really nice um, and it's a very sad melancholy medley, so that's a little nice one there. I'm just going to make a very small adjustment to the um, organ, folks, very quickly. Because uh, we've just got a little... Um, everything seems to be going not very well tonight. We need to, just need to bring up that volume a touch more. There we go, that looks good, and we'll bring that back to full screen. Right, so then we have the next piece in the book. Um, which is Happy Go Lucky, and this is just a nice little, nice little swing number, trots along quite nicely, and it goes a little bit like this. tune there in that kind of swingy style so that's happy go lucky um, we then have um, towards the end of the book we've got one called um, the tibia tango and this is a fun one but this one we do just need to put on the tambourine and the castanet because it is a latin number so this one is a tango and that one goes a little bit like this. <laughs> Castanets and uh, all things like that. So I hope you enjoyed the music, folks. And uh, let's uh, now play the last little number in the book, uh, which is called the. <laughs> this one's called the Jelly Mold Rag. And um, the idea of the um, of the Jelly Mold Rag is in the 1930s there was a popular design of cinema organ surround which is where you had colored lights surrounding the organ console 
and these would change colour and it, it got it basically looked like a mold, a massive jelly so it got the nickname the jelly mold um, so uh, this is n not in, named after a dessert that's gone off uh, the jelly mold was uh, an art deco 19 um, 20s, uh, 1930s design, sorry. So, let's have a listen to the jelly mold rag. Here we go. <laughs> That's a little selection there of my new book, Theatre Organ Original. So I do apologise for the, the sound a little bit and, and uh, everything that's gone on, but thank you so much for joining me tonight um, on, uh, on my YouTube channel. So, um, yeah, so it's been a bit a real labour of love, this book. And as I say, there's, there's uh, stuff in there which uh, the nice thing is I've tried to make the pieces all playable. So if you're wondering, mm, is the book going to be a bit hard for me? The answer is hopefully not, because all the way through the pieces, we've laid out the book in four staves. So you've got the solo, the great, the accompaniment, and the pedals. Now, some of you may not read bass clef, so that doesn't matter. You just play the great and the solo with the chord symbols. Okay? What if you're only playing on a two manual organ? Well, you just play the great, and the accompaniment and the pedals, or the great and the chord symbols, and the solo, you could do that on the on the up keyboard, or maybe if you've got a lower manual split, you could put it there. In addition to the chord symbols, we've also got, as we said earlier, the places where you might change registration, and the, the suggested registrations that come with the book are literally just that. They're just registrational suggestions, just ideas, but I've, I've based them around a kind of a medium-sized theatre organ, so you can, if you're playing a, a Lowry or a Versi or whatever, an Allen or a home electronic organ, you can try those out on there. Whatever sounds you like will sound good, but I'm extremely proud of it. It's really great. Um, it's only available in book form. It's not going to be digitised for two reasons. One, the book works well as a book. It doesn't work so well on iPads, i found. It's also nice, I think, in this modern world to buy a book. And also by buying a book, you'll also be supporting a print company that have always published my publication. So it's important to support everyone during this COVID lockdown. Obviously for me, I'm keeping reasonably busy, but of course I'm suffering a little bit, um, not having all my shows, uh, pantomime theatre shows, playing the organ out. So it, this has been a real nice project to undertake. Um, and uh, it's fantastic. Those of you who've already purchased your copy, thank you so much. So if you're in the mood to, um, maybe support me and get yourself something quite unique for your organ book collection, do consider a copy of Theatre Organ Originals Volume 1 by myself, Tom Horton. And the great thing about this book is, is as I say, I can send it anywhere in the world. I'll also be delighted to personally endorse the book 
and sign it for each and every one of you. Just let me know who you'd like it made out to yourself, maybe the organist in the house if you're watching. Oh, what a great Christmas present. So the books are now here, they're ready to ship. So thank you so much for um, for watching. Uh, we'll finish off with a little bit of music in, in, uh, in, the, in a few moments, folks. But uh, can I say to all of you, please do keep safe, take care of yourselves. Um, uh, things are not getting better at the moment, unfortunately, but uh, we're all uh, trying to keep as well as we can. And of course, the music is a great tonic and a great relief in this, um, in this uh, thing. Um, just very quickly, let me just grab my iPad. Uh, because I'd like to just share some of the uh, the comments that we've uh, that we've got. Don't forget, folks. TomHorton.co.uk is the website for book orders, CDs. Uh, who have we got on the chat? We have got. Um, who have we got? We've got. Uh, oh, Steve up in Glasgow. We've got Alan. Hello, Alan. Nice to hear from you. Uh, very nice to hear from you as well, Steve. Steve's one of my online students. We've got Aurora Knox in Germany, who's a software engineer. Well, do talk to YouTube, please. Um, Classic Clara, that's my family. Good, you're back. And my front as well. Um, we've got Alan. Uh, yes, Alan, the Gremlins were out tonight. Uh, Ben's here. Hello, Ben. Um, Aurora Knox. Oh, this is brilliant. We'll order it. Well done, Aurora Knox in Germany. Uh, Keith, uh, Keith, another one of my online students, along with Steve, has already, uh, they've already got their copies, which is good. Um, Natsuki in America. Those of you who haven't heard of Natsuki, a young, young rising organist in the States, and uh, he's doing uh, some interviews. I, I was interviewed by him recently, um, to, uh, and he's doing like a sort of a, a series of interviews with theatre organists, how they started out, what organs have they played, favourite music. So that's worth checking out. Um, Natsuki Sabalos on Facebook. Gary, uh, Gary, of course, uh, can't wait to get mine. Thank you very much, Gary. Um, Keith said, it sounded a bit like that when I tried to play it. Well, I'm sure it sounded very nice, Keith. Um, Gary said, this will sound amazing on my Paramount 450 virtual organ. Yes, it will. Jacob, hello, Jacob, good evening. Um, classic car, love the rag, very catchy. And Nick Wood, friend of mine and projectionist, front of house at the Southport Electric Picture Palace. So there we go, folks. Well, it's been lovely. Thank you so much. We need, almost didn't make it, but we did. Um, and um, if you've just joined, this has been a little presentation of Theatre Organ Originals, my new book um, with five brand new pieces beautifully laid out for the cinema organ. Hope you'll consider a copy. Head to the website tomhorton.co.uk. If you'd like me to endorse it to yourself or someone at home as a present, please just let me know who and I'll happily do that for you. Thanks for watching everybody. Once again, stay safe and let's finish off with a little reprise of the first song in the book, which is Console Up. Um, which follows the great tradition of um, no business like show business and all things like that. Just before we finish, one folk, uh, someone did ask me, they said, what was the inspiration behind the pieces? And as I said earlier, the, the, the first time I found out that virtually nothing, I, I'm always going to stick my neck out and say nothing was ever written. I, I've, I have had that sort of conferred by a fairly knowledgeable friend of mine in the organ business. Um, that, that little to nothing was ever composed for the cinema organ. If you think about it, there was three, four hundred years of organ repertoire. Bach, Buster Hude, Rheinberger, you know, uh, Haydn, you know, the rest of it, they, they, you know, Sanson, um, all these um, great classical works. And then this new kind of orchestral organ came along in the mid-1900s, or 1915 or so, it started to, sort of started to appear in cinemas. Um, but of course, everybody was just using the organ as like a band instrument. They were using it as an orchestra to accompany the silent films. During the 1930s, late 20s, early 30s, the organ interlude was established. And that's when the organ used to come up on its lift to stage level to entertain the crowds in the interval. And so by the time the Second World War started in 1939, that's more or less when cinema organ uh, production finished. Um, that was kind of the end of it, and of course, then there was lots of things written for Hammond and electronic organ. So, but this is this is something quite new. There are there have been one or two other books out there, and um, Walt Stroh needed a book many years ago. Um, Jelani Eddington, very fine American theatre organist, he's written some arranging books, but these are brand new pieces. So, hopefully, you'll uh, consider the book. Thank you much for watching, folks. Take care, and uh, let's finish off with a little bit more of Console Up. Good night.